Hello, Auxiliar here again. In today's video, I will be covering the recently released Driver Academy module that was added for American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. I will cover what is all involved, what I liked, disliked, and any overall thoughts I have about this add-on. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have a question or have thoughts about the Driver Academy, leave a comment below and please subscribe to my channel to be notified of all my upcoming videos. Since both Euro Truck and American Truck Simulator have basically the same Driver Academy, there are a few differences in some of the chapters, but overall they basically have the same chapters and things you must drive. I have decided to combine the videos into one video. So to begin, what is Driver Academy? Driver Academy is a way to practice various driving maneuvers without having to go out on the road and risk crashing a truck or racking up fines and traffic violations. Starting with my likes, the first item I liked is the overall experience of having a brand new section of the game that basically came out of nowhere with the announcement a couple weeks ago. There is, this is not a half-hearted add-on to the game. This is a detail-oriented add-on that takes you through all the aspects of driving a truck. The second thing I like is that you start out with the basics, like setting up the mirrors, and then you eventually work your way up through various driving tasks. Then it appears you have a final exam, but I have not gotten to this point yet. The final like I wanted to mention was another thing that came out of nowhere and with the addition of Driver Academy. We got new achievements for both American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. So I guess I'll have to make another video on that once I complete them. But just eyeballing them, they don't look easy to complete, which is good. Now for the dislikes. Granted, there's not too much to dislike at the moment, as there's really nothing to compare Driver Academy up against, but I will put in the dislike column that some of the instructions are not very intuitive, at least for me. For example, during the adjusting mirrors, it was not clear enough that I needed to adjust the mirrors to make sure that the car showed up, but then the hood mirror, I needed to make sure both the car and the truck showed up in the hood mirror. During one of the parking chapters, it just said, proceed when ready. So I was really confused what things they wanted me to do, but I did figure it out. And frankly, I do expect that there will be some ambiguity given that this is a new module for everyone. Overall, I do recommend that you give Driver Academy a look if you want to sharpen up your basic driving skills or are just starting out in the game. That is all for this video. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have any questions or thoughts about the Driver Academy, leave a comment below and please subscribe to my channel to be notified of my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.